Welcome back to Farming Simulator and today Expandable Pastures has released and so I'm going to show you how to edit a mod to support Expandable Pastures and we are going to use the Temporary Grazing Pastures by Mr. Farquhar. So let's jump out to the mods folder and have a look at how we do it. So we are in our mods folder. Obviously, you are going to have needed to download expandable pastures and you want to do that anyway, because in there is a text file which explains how to convert a mod to work with it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open that up with 7-zip and we're going to open up the how to create expandable pastures mod.txt. And then we can close that. And then uh, I'm using temporary grazing pastures by Mr. Farquhar because it's a nice example, nice and simple to use to show you how to edit a mod. Um, so we're going to go in into 7-zip. We are going to extract it to the folder. And then if, uh, if you're doing this, take a copy of the zipped file, put it somewhere else safe. I'm just going to delete it and we're going to go into the folder. You are going to need Giants Editor to do a couple of quick checks so we're going to go in there i'm going to open up the uh the i3d file and what you want going to want to do and i will show you in the instructions as well so um so we're going to find the navigation plane and it has to be one shape or a single plane so we're going to go to navigation root node expand it up and this there needs to be just one thing under here if there's a list of things, it won't work and you will either need to understand Blender and at that point you don't need this tutorial or you will need to wait for the modder to update it for you. If there is a single navigation, if there is a single thing under here, then you're good. Then what you need to do is make potentially make a little bit of a change. So what we're going to do is scroll across and uh, we will see that the plane must have the build nav mesh mask FE. And what that means is we go in to shape and we see here that it does in fact have the build nav mesh mask set to FE, which is good. So that's that done. You also need to make a note just in case of this number. So zero arrow six bar zero. That could be useful. It depends whether that navigation mesh node has been set in the i3d file or not. I know in this case it hasn't, so we need to make a note of that so we can create it. If all of those things are OK, you can just close it. If you have gone into here and this is different, so if it's saying something different or it's not set, you just double click on the, you click on these little three dots and you make sure that this bottom row of numbers except zero is ticked and press OK and that will set it and then save it and close it, okay? So that's the bit you need to do in the i3d file. You don't need to make any big changes. You just need to make sure that it is set up correctly. So we're then going to go in to the moddesk.xml, scroll down, yours may or may not have more or less in it. And what we're going to do is just make a bit of space at the end. So before where it's got this, um, slash mod desk and we're going to go into the text file and we're going to get this piece of text we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it and what that will do is it will check that you've got expandable pastures installed because without it installed these changes won't work cool right so that's that bit done so save that and close it okay so that's that updated. We're then going to open the XML file for the enclosure you want to edit. So again, for us, it's Calbarn small. And we need to change the type. And again, you'll see in this text file, we have a list of types. So we have a cow husbandry pasture. So we go down the list, we find cow husbandry pasture. We copy the one that corresponds to that, which is FS22 expandable pastures, expandable cow husbandry pasture. So we select it, we copy it, we paste it in there. It's that bit done. So we then need to go down and find the bit where the uh, the XML tells the game where the navigation mesh is. So scroll down and we will find that. So. 
show you what you're looking for once I find it. Um, there we go. So you're looking for something that looks like this. The file name might be slightly different, but that's what we're looking for. And what we're going to do is we are going to change the last bit. So we're going to select this, just that bit. We're going to copy it and we are going to replace from where it says file name like that. So the next bit we need to do is we need to make sure that this node is defined. And I know in our example, it is not. So we're going to scroll down into the i3d mapping bit and we're going to find where the navigation root node is defined. We're going to make space. We're going to double click to select the line. We're going to do control C to copy and control V to paste. So we're then going to go back up here, double click to highlight or select it however you want. Control C to copy, go back down and paste that over. I'm going to delete the dead space that we created. And then we need to get that bar zero that goes on the end or whatever the corresponding number is for your one that you wrote down. So that is all of that changed. What you might also want to do is in our example, we have fences. You probably don't want fences. So we're going to select that. We're going to go into edit and we're going to do comment and we're going to do toggle single line comment to turn the fences off. We can then save that and close that and we should be good to reload the game. There are a couple of other bits in the instructions. If those are of use to you, you probably don't need this video. So I'm not going to go through those. Okay, we're going to reload the game now and check to see if things have worked. The first thing, when you reload your game, if your mod doesn't show up, when you load the save, you did something wrong. Go out of the game, check your log file, see if there are any errors or go back and start again. Um, what's really useful is if you press the tilde key and you've got development set up so that you can see it, then uh, you'll see stuff come up on the screen as you go in. It's telling me it needs to be zipped because I haven't re-zipped it yet because I will wait until I know it works and then I'll show you how to re-zip it. So we're going to do start. It will load the game up. This is going to sound a little bit brutal. If things don't work, you've made mistakes. And if you've made mistakes, the easiest way to fix them is to go back to the original mod that you downloaded and try again. So... But what we will do is we will go in to the animal menu. We will attempt to, there we go. So we can place now our expandable pasture. You can see that it has the helper. So it shows us where the um, navigation mesh is now. We don't have fences anymore. So we can then, um, if we go in here, we can put in our however many cows or 25 cows and then we go into animals and extended pastures and we'll grab the uh the big jobby and stick that on the back and uh there we go now we can put in a lot more so the question that I had on the first video was, does expanding the pasture increase the number of animals? You increase the amount of food and more you can put in. The answer is no. What you could do is when you were in that XML, and I'll show you when we go back out to zip it, you can increase it yourself. Um, it's easy enough to do. And when modders modify their mods to work with expandable pastures, they can do it as well. So... Let's just very quickly go back out and zip the mod up and then we'll wrap the video up. So we are back in the, so from the mods folder, go in to the folder where you were editing the mod at this level where you can see things like the mod desk. If you, depending on the mod, things might be in folders and stuff like that, but you want to be at this level where the mod desk is. Press control A, that will select everything. Right click go to 7-zip, add to, it will be FS22, whatever the name of your mod was, dot .zip, let that do its thing, select it, press Control x go back up to the mods folder, 
and press Control V to paste it. And then you can delete the folder and you're good. What I didn't show you actually was how to increase the amount of food. We can do that from here. We can go to right click, go to 7-zip, do open archive. We'll go in to the XML and we will just scroll down to the right point. You've got food capacity, 30,000. It's now 300,000. Water. Uh, water supply automatic water capacity is here so you could make it bigger if you want or what you can do is just change water supply there to true and water will flow in automatically you can do either it's up to you we will then do save close update archive close and let's reload the game and wrap the video up okay we are back in the game and everything is good so i guess what we can just do quickly is if i go into the animal menu you'll see now there is not a water menu a water bar because the watering is automatic you'll just get build for the watering and just very quickly let's spawn in some bales of some sort of food um able do let's kick that into their feed trigger which is just there i think i hope uh, there it is yep so and you'll see that we can put in more than thirty thousand liters of food now we have in fact put in about 40,000 litres. There you go. So you can see we have expanded the food capacity as well. So that is a very quick tutorial on how to convert a mod to support the expandable pastures. If you open a mod up and it is more complicated than that, and you don't know how to do it, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait. So for example, if you open a mod up like my improvised animal sheds and you find that the navigation pane plane is made up of four different entities or three, I can't help you. I had to get Cookie Cat to help me turn those into singles using Blender so that I can update my mod for you. I don't know how to do that. Don't go and ask Cookie Cat, by the way. And thank you, Cookie Cat, for doing that for me. Um, if it's part of a map, I'm not going to tell you how to update it because it's way more complex. You're going to have to wait. Maybe hope that a mapper updates it. Um, there are some included with the mod. So just to show you, um, the mod includes the all of the base game ones for all of the animals modified to support the expandable pastures. I am certain modders will be jumping on this straight away to try and get their mods converted to support expandable pastures. I didn't expect this mod to release today. I started working on converting mine over the weekend and didn't get them finished. I thought it would take a bit longer. Uh, I'm recording this video on Monday at lunchtime because I didn't expect this mod to have released by now. So you can now go download this mod. If you do go download this mod, go rate it five stars. It's freaking awesome. Um, yeah, game changing, completely game changing. So yeah, if you've got questions about what I've shown you, please stick them below. I will try and answer them. Um, if, as I say, you've tried editing a mod and you're struggling, ask and i'll try and help it's really hard if people ask if it's beyond people's capabilities and i would say if that's the case just wait because modders will be churning out mods that support this fairly quickly i'm sure or use the ones that are included um you know if it, you could just use the very basic ones you could just do that little quick tweak if you want to increase the capacity of the food and the water if you need to and you'll be good to go probably to make any complex shape that you want anyway yeah if you do like this mod, go rate it five stars. That really helps out the modder. Chisel is a very, very clever man. Um, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button and uh, I will see you next time.